Hello YouTube! Saul has found me a whale supposedly bigger than him. And that shocks me. I didn't know such a thing was possible, but it supposedly is. And honestly, I'm not surprised because there's always someone that wants to have the bigger peepee. -pee. And this person has a massive peepee, -pee, or at least that's what it would suggest by looking at their account. We're gonna deal with a level 237 VIP 13 account today. And I just want to tell you in advance, you need your inhalers, whatever it is at the ready, because this will shock you. And I don't mean that as an understatement. Check this out. So far, looks pretty normal. 237, we've got the Black Friday frame, VIP 13, we have a modest amount of gold, a hefty amount of gems, and boy oh boy, are we about to see his heroes. So these heroes... So, wow, that's... Normally when I look at whale accounts, and I look at their awakened heroes, I see a lot of Ds and a lot of Cs. But this guy went next level. That's a lot of Bs. That's a lot of E5s. That's a lot of Void imprints. Let's just sort by imprint. Oh my word. How many Void 4s? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 of them. With a ton more Void 3s, Void 2s, and a few Void 1s to boot right at the end. And it just keeps freaking going. At what point do you just say, I'm done? Right? Why? Why do you need this? What does it achieve? And the beauty of it is, I will never know. I will never know what went through this person's mind. Because they did it. That's the fun thing. Whenever you make an account like this from scratch yourself, you, hopefully, if you know what you're doing, know why every single hero exists on your account. On the other hand, I have no clue. There's a Freya here, that's nice. I assume she's being used, well, not for anything. She's just here in case the new Transcendence hero happens to be good. This is wild. Okay, let's go look at our Cloud Island. Now, my expectation... It's... What, what, really? What the... Why? Why would you do that? Why would you write dick on the ground in your garden? I hate this, right? It's got 871 thumbs up because for some reason, people love it when you make penis jokes in your celestial island. Doesn't matter how pretty or beautiful you make it or how symmetrical it is, if you write cock on the ground, everyone's gonna give it a thumbs up because this is, well, this is Gen Z humor for you. It's just dick. Love that. Maybe it's his name. Hey Richard, lovely account. Looks amazing. It's definitely not his name. Cloud Island! Let's go take a look. We have some low effort flower fields. Actually, they're kind of pretty actually. There is something elegant about just filling it with lots of the same stuff. The paths mixed together. You know what? There's, there's some sense of minimalism. And then we get to this one, you just gave up. You were like green everywhere. Oh man. I love how it's, it's not even an account review of his heroes at this point. It's his artistic skill. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Sword Flash, what have you got? Level 1 across the board. Not surprising. It is Star Expedition Week. And therefore, everything should be on Eos and Vesa. So, Aspen, again, all level 1. That's great. And let's look at the Eos. She's built up 55, 72, 80, 78. That's nice. And we should have a lot on Vesa as well, wherever the heck she is. Wait, where's Vesa? Oh, there she is. Found her. This guy's got a lot of houses. And that's 66, 80, 79, and 93. Wow, we got a lot of Celestial Island materials. That is wild. So if I go take a look, we're expecting the Eos to be higher attack than the Vesa for this to be correct. That is most likely the case. What are we on with the Vesa? 2.58. Okay, that's a fair amount of attack. That's pretty hefty. And let's go look at the Eos. 2.95. Wow, she's way higher. Okay. And let's look at the rankings. Oh, bro. That, that is bad. B minus Eos, and you got a C plus in attack. My heart goes out to you. That is pain. That is so painful. Yikes. What about the Vesa? How's she doing? She's B minus 2703 with, oh, with a C plus in health. 
Oh, man. Did you get these yourself or did you buy these from the shop? Because there, it's, it's wild. This is a ridiculous account. Like, is, is, there, is there anyone that's got like a godly attack stat? Okay, yeah. That sword flash is hefty. 4388, 4217, and a 41 in speed. That's nice. Sword flash is looking good. This one, a little bit of a lesser form. For some reason, two sword flashes. I know that one's a tenant, but still, it's wild. It's th at this account. I don't even know what to say. Let's go look at the oh the guild tech. Please tell me it's perfect guild tech. No, it's not. Un ah, this is warrior, right? If we go ahead and click on the other four, watch them be beautiful. It's not even oh, none of them, none of them are beautiful. Oh, the reason this account is less than a year old. Did I forget to mention that? It's not even a year old. So he hasn't even had time to get the guild tech. Oh. Wait, assassins maxed? Is it though? Let me have a look. Uh, where are we going? It's not. It's not maxed. Look at this side. It's empty. If it was maxed, it would be glowing. It would be shiny, Zools. Have you never seen a maxed out guild tech before? It's the sexiest, most beautiful thing in the world. This is none of those things. This is not sexy or beautiful. It is blah. Because he's put all his money into things he can actually buy. Guild tech's not one of those things. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, dear, dear. C minus on a Morax? What a high roll. Why, why have we got to... Why? What, why? What's the need? Right, how's Shadow looking? Double LOEs. One of them's done. Jar is done to D minus. Love that. We've got just, yeah, pretty pathetic. Oh, Kiramaru with the B minus. That's kind of cool as a tenant. He's only void one. Guess he's not a tenant. Guess you're not using him on anybody. Fortress. Nice. We've got some Bs across the board. Sherlock there with the B. That's not bad. That's not bad. Block holy damage. That is a bit weird. That's a funny thing, actually. Imagine, right, that you've gone ahead and you've got this many awakened heroes. Think of all the hammers you would need to tune them up. You just wouldn't bother, right? You just absolutely wouldn't bother. You take what you get and leave it. We've got a B minus on this Ignis. Okay. C plus attack, B minus on speed and health. Yeah. It's a bit disappointing. I say that like, obviously, it's insane. But like, this account is absolutely stacked. I'm trying to look at it from a critical standpoint. Holy crap. Look at all that food. Look how many six star forest heroes. And dark and. Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh. What the? Uh. 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 uh? Sell it. It's a B minus queen. Why is he holding this? Is, th is there a reason we're holding a B minus queen? Is it better than a queen we've already got? No. We've got this queen here. She's great. She's B. What's that one for? Is that like got some special ability? What's built into it? Precision crit damage. It's, uh. What? It's six star. You can still get it out, though. Just go swap and pull it out. Oh, my word. And we've got C tiers just trapped inside. Yo. Oh, my God. Let's go see what's stuck inside some of these heroes. Oh, there's so many E's. That's that's understandable. Okay. He's got to have some really shamefully hidden ones, right? Oh, there's a C minus stuck in this one. That's funny. Each one of those is like a free awaken or just sell it. What about inside the Aspen? C plus? Bro. This is hilarious. Oh my god. Okay, let's see what's inside here. D's, 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 D's across the board. Okay, that one's got a C minus in health, but it's still a D. Oh man. And Holmes Young? Just E's. All right. And wait, did you say there's a C tier, Halora? Wait, there is. Wait, so he's got this? Wait. 3162 in attack. So is the queen he just has chilling better or worse? It's worse. It's a B minus, but it's got a worse attack stat. Wow. Oh, man. That's insane. Right, let's go ahead and... You want me to see how many cores he's used? 
Go on. Let's look in the challenge menu. See where we're at with cores. No. 9,409. Why would you? That's madness. Twenty million crystals of transcendence. What's the need? That's d d what? Why did you do that? Why would you just do that? You just threw money at it for no reason. You haven't even built the transcendence heroes. You just thought, friggin' I'll do some cores? Do you want like a core addiction? Like what? No! Why would you? Ah! You're insane! Oh my god. I hope you're rich. I really hope you're rich and just not an idiot. There are two kinds of whales. Right? Well, there's tons more than just two, right? There's, but there's, there's smart whales and then there's idiot whales. I, I don't know if this guy is either of those two. Or there's just ridiculously rich that it doesn't matter. So by default, you're an idiot whale because spending fixes everything. Oh my God. That's bonkers. Why would you do that? Because... That's a ton of cores that you're just not using. All the five stars you got from those cores, obviously just sitting here pointlessly. Look, E4 Delacium, E2 Valentino. You've got an Oberon over here, Augustine. Like so many of these heroes you built because you were like, nah, why not? Right? So a ton of these cores that you've used have netted you nothing. You just buy them because you can. I bet you it's maxed out. That's what he's done. No, he hasn't even maxed this out yet. And what he's got 73 hours to, so maybe he can. But holy crap. And 23,000 story gems? Heck yeah, he's got 23,000 story gems. This guy is probably looking to buy something juicy in the marketplace, and I don't blame him. But, yeah. I just... I'm speechless, man. I'm absolutely speechless. You just have casually 5 billion hello. spirit. And hello, Tartarus. Thank you for the subscribe. 5 billion? And no gold. What did you spend your gold on? Resonance gear? How much resonance gear is this guy rocking? And I love how every time I click on this, I have to look at dick. Frick me. Right. Let's look at his avatar frames. Because he's not been around that long. He doesn't even have that many. That's funny. Uh, let's go on skins. That's a lot of legendary skins. Good job. How's your skin bonds looking? <laughs> There's a few of them he's not done yet from festival skins. But mostly we're looking pretty good. Okay. Artifacts. What? Okay. Five snow hearts. Confusion. Eight crowns. That makes sense. One antlers, one melodic strings, that's cute. Two receptors, splendid punisher of a mortal, double AMB, four demon bells. You know what? I like that. And the double magic stone sword, one transcendence flag, one fortress flag. It's a solid ratio. I actually like that. I like that. Although it's funny, we're on 29. We're so close. Build more. Right, and what else are we looking at? It's, it's the armor. Let's go take a look. This is where the gold has gone. Seven warrior sets, seven mage sets, six ranger sets, six assassin sets, five presets. Holy Lord. Maxed out. That is a lot of sets. Also, that's a lot of attribute bonuses. 13% and 10.4. Mad. Absolutely mad. How are your statues? 
bro. Speed first. Speed's the most important stat, and these only affect PvP. That's interesting. He's not gone with speed. Maybe you're just accepting that you're going to lose the speed war, so you try to split across attack and HP as well. This is one of the hardest things to level up, right? Because you can't spend money to get adventurer's medals. You've just got to play the game. So I'm not surprised that these aren't maxed. Because it's less than a year old. What's it going to be? You know? But still, this is a crazy account. Oh, boys. You know what I love most? Omega Project doesn't even have a freaking... Like, there's nothing. It's just dot dot. They don't need a bio. It's just like, you know how to play the game. Hey, how's it going? Ridiculous. Right, let's look at his hero shards. Right, actually, chests. I want to look at chests. Sure. Sure. That's tidy. That's really tidy. No artifact chests. Very few five-star chests. And just casually... 14 nine stars, bro. 14. Why did you open 9,000 cores? Like, why did you need all those five stars? And why did you need all those transcendency things? Is it just for the stellar shards? It must have just been for the stellar shards. Like, that's what it must have just been. Like, he's like, I just want to, I just want to avoid imprint everybody. Right? That's all I want to do. Imprint the entire world. So spend on cores. Let's go. Doesn't care about Crystals of Transcendence, doesn't care about the five-star heroes. He's got a million bajillion foods. No, he's just going to spend tens and tens of thousands of dollars just so he can void and print everybody. Wild. I love it. And I hate it all at the same time. Right, let's go take a look at the actual hero shards as well. Oh, we've got another nine-star over there. Yep, sure. How many of these do we have? 60. Solid. A lot of six-stars across the board. This guy's got a lot of six-star heroes. Holy bejeebies. Right. I'm surprised you haven't condensed them. We've got just casually seven Eloises. Let's go through each faction, right? That's how Shadow's looking. Ton of Eloises. Fortress. Ton of Pennies. Few Seers. Load of Valentinos. Interesting. That's a ton of food. Look at all the food. Just eight Mirages, seven Mickeys. This guy does Profit Orbs and then doesn't even use it. Because he doesn't need food. Maybe. Oh. What if... It's not a matter of not being able to use the food. It's that he just doesn't have the hero promotion stones. He's got 39,000. He's got very, very few promotion stones. He can maybe squeeze out an E5. Oh my god. That's what it is. You know what 9,000 cores isn't going to give you? Hundreds of thousands of promotion stones. So my man is just sat here, and he's like, ah, right, uh, I fucked up. It's funny, promotion stones are something most people don't struggle with. But in the rare circumstance where you are a big, fat, juicy whale, sometimes promo stones are very much a thing that you are in very much need of. How you doing on, like, just casual seven-star quests? Just 42 of them? Fair play. Fair play, play. Oh my god, at 4,000 Master's Toolboxes. Says it all, really. You know these, like, pay-to-win toolboxes, right? Honestly, we all have way too many of them. It's crazy. How's this galactic tree looking? Let's go take a look. Oh, wow. Yep, there's a classic whale problem. You just can't keep upgrading your galactic tree hard enough, right? Bet you were stuck. Yep. Don't have enough of the yellow crystals. Don't have enough of any of the crystals. Where are you currently in the Void Arc? What's your ranking? Ranking, oh my word, 2,628. Wait, hang on a second. 2,628. Don't you have like 15 Void 4s? How are you in the top 2,000? Are you just not doing the optimal strat? Yeah, he's not trying. He doesn't even care about the Void Arc. He doesn't care. He's just like, bah. How's he not in the top 100? Or at least in the top 500, right? Because the thing he's struggling with here is star spawn progress, right? Look at his star spawns. They're, they're struggling. He needs to level them up. And for that, we need to be coming top 
in the Void Arc so that you can get as many Star Spawn thingies as you can. And also, it gets you more eggs. Why on earth wouldn't you try and max this out? But he's just settling with top 2,000 to 5,000. That's where I am, right? On the VIP series, I'm in the top 5,000. I'm in the same bucket as this dude. How the hell is the VIP series in the same bucket as this? Eh. Mad. Absolutely mad. So, what can I say? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just shock. This account is one of the wildest accounts I've ever set my eyes upon. It's stacked. We've got four Rogans, three Seahoos. Surprised you don't have four Seahoos, in all fairness. You got Olivia. I like that. I I'd want a second Olivia. Why not two? Man's got Oberon, doesn't have Olivia. What are you doing? Madness. Let's check the seal lands. How? How is that 26? You're a whale. How have you not got 27 done? Mad. Get a second Olivia. Let's go. Fortress. Eh, it's trying. Light, 25. Yep, 25's everywhere else. Isn't even 25 in shadow. I mean, I'm not surprised by that. And you think it's probably his star spawns? Yeah, most likely. Right, they'll be holding him back. Or he just hasn't tried, one of the two. Maybe he has tried, I don't know. But still, he could be on 27. <sighs> Tower of Oblivion, where are we at? Where's our Tower of Dream? I, I can't even check. <gasps> He's not going to be on this list, is he? Nah. Oh, no, no, he might be. KDL, that's this guy. Depth 9, story 15. Yeah, there you go. Server 937, by the way, folks. 26th. 26th in the world. I'd take that. That's not a bad ranking. Also, just casually, a lot of everybody on this list, like m most of them, Omega Project, Omega Project, Omega Project, right? I think there's a monopoly going on. Just a little bit. But hey. And Shadow Seal Land is very hard, yes. You're not wrong. It is a bit of a struggle. How's the Soul Temple? Oh! Bro! Bro! You've got a free Awaken, and you've maxed your excess out. Do you not know this is a thing? This guy is such a whale, he doesn't care about free stuff. He's even, like, saying, nah, screw the free gems. This means nothing. That's how you know you've got too much money. When you just look at free things and you go, nah, I'm good. Don't want the free stuff. Even though this is like insane. Dude, what are you doing? This is, this is wild. How many scrolls? 547, fair play. He'll probably whale the scroll event and max that out anyway. Oh dear, and profit orbs, just indulge me. Five. Oh, wow. Where are we at on this week's Profit Orb event? Maxed. Frickin' maxed, dude. Eight full clears. Wild. And, and, oh, go on. Let's just look at the Fantasy Factory. Where are we at on this? Hmm. Exchange store. Okay, you made it to the end. That's cute. You can buy this as well if you want. Don't know if it's worth it. He's probably... No, he doesn't even care for this. Look. Puppet selection chest. Like... That is useless to him. Why would he want the puppet selection chest when he's got as much food as he does? That says everything. He's like, nah, 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 nah. Screw the puppets. Don't want those. I mean, he went with the 10-star puppet. That's fine. That's a free awakening. Doesn't use his promotion stones. But totally bypasses the 9-star puppet. He's like, nah, nah, nah. Haven't got the promotion stones to make 10 stars. Forget that. Wow. Wait, he didn't get the artifact chest? Wait, he didn't get the... No, really? I didn't even notice that. Yo! He didn't! He just went straight with the flags. What a whale. What an absolute whale. <sighs> well, there you go, folks. Bask in this. And wish one day that your account could look like this. Your account will never look like this. You could dream. And for that, I'm inspired by you. So hit that subscribe button if you want to catch more content like this. And thank you for letting us check this out, KDL. This account is ridiculous. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one, folks. Happy idling.